we're gonna try something a little bit different for today's video. Because with the current state of the world, all the stores still being closed or slowly reopening, no conventions for the foreseeable future, it's been really hard to do some proper toy hunting. And I don't know about you guys, but man, I am itching to get back out there and do some toy hunting. Now, of course, that will all come in due time. Everybody's safety is, of course, the priority. And, well, if you're anything like me, being quarantined stuck at home means you're finding ways to still spend your money. In fact, you're probably spending more than you should be spending because it's so easy to pull out your phone and start browsing eBay for toys that we don't really need, right? <laughs> so that's exactly what I've been doing. I have been doing some online toy shopping and while I can't go out and help promote a convention or a local toy shop, like which is what I usually like to do with these toy hunting videos, I can at least still show off some of the cool things that I have picked up while I've been stuck here in my house. And uh, hey, maybe I can still help you guys see some new toys that maybe you didn't know about. So really this is gonna be more like a show and tell video or a classic look at my stuff type video. But regardless, let's do some quarantine toy hunting. Let's check out what I've picked up in the past few months. But first, we've got to talk about the sponsor of this video. This video is brought to you by The Ridge. The Ridge is light, sleek, and industrial. It doesn't fold or awkwardly bulge in your back pocket and it seriously changed my whole pocket situation. Most people are still using wallets designed in the 90s, carrying around old receipts, gift cards, hotel keys, making your wallet an unorganized mess. I know that I personally have dealt with this for many years, and let me tell you something. I've been carrying around the Ridge for about a month now, and I am amazed at the amount of space that I'm saving, how easy and convenient it is to just carry this thing in my front pocket, and it's got everything I need right there. The Ridge team is so confident that you'll like it that they'll let you test drive it for 45 days and then you can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it. It's also made with RFID blocking technology that protects you from digital pickpocketers. Seriously, I'm really impressed with the Ridge product and I think you will be too. I'm itching to get back out there at conventions and stuff because I know that with my Ridge wallet in my front pocket, it'll be much more convenient and I won't have this mess that I'm digging through in my pockets when I'm trying to buy a new toy that I just found at a vendor's booth. You guys, you guys know how that is. You've been there. So head on over to The Ridge today using my exclusive link down below, theridge.com slash pixeldan. With coupon code pixeldan, you can get yourself 10% off today. It's down in the video description as well as in the comments of this video. Now, on with the show. <laughs> testing, 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 testing. All right, so back in March, before all the lockdowns happened. In fact, right before we got on this lockdown, my family and I hopped in the car and we took a trip up to Chicago to celebrate my birthday weekend. And one of the things I did while I was in the city was visit my good friend Sam at his awesome shop known as Toy Du Jour. If you've never been to Toy Du Jour in Chicago, I would highly recommend it. Uh, definitely one of my favorite places to check out anytime I'm in the city. Since I was just celebrating my birthday, I didn't take my camera in with me or do any filming. Uh, but here's a picture of me with Sam. So there you go, Sam. Now you're in this video. Uh, but for real, once, once things are back to a little bit of normalcy and I have a chance to go out again, uh, I definitely want to take my camera back to Toy Du Jour and do some filming there because it really is a wonderful location. So one of the things that I knew that I wanted to do when I went to this store is I wanted to get something uh, a little scarce, a little rare. I was hoping to find something uh, a little bigger. Because it was my birthday weekend, I had some money burning a hole in my pocket, so I wanted to see what was in the store, and luckily I came across some very cool Ninja Turtles items uh, that I did not have in my collection. 
So one of the very first things that I picked up at the store was this amazing Japan release version of Metal Mutant's Donatello. So if you guys aren't familiar, uh, Takara actually put out several of the Playmates Toys Ninja Turtles figures over in Japan. Uh, the Metal Mutants we did get here in the U.S., but as you can see, the packaging is very different for the Japanese release. Instead of coming on a blister card like we always got here, uh, they come in these beautiful boxes with this very anime-esque artwork, uh, very reminiscent of the Japanese OVA, the anime, the Ninja Turtles anime, if you've ever seen that. It's on YouTube. You can look it up. It's really, really wild, really fun stuff. Uh, but I love these guys, shiny and vacuum metal and of course purple is one of my favorite colors so the shiny purple just looks fantastic this guy is still in the packaging and he is just a beautiful figure i love the takar releases so I was really happy to get this guy and add him to my collection. One of the other awesome turtle finds that I picked up from the store while I was there was the Toon Turtles Toon Cycle with Raphael. Uh, this is awesome. I love the Toon Turtles figures from that line. Of course those are the ones that have a bit more of an animation vibe to them. Like, the whole idea is that they were supposed to actually look like the turtles in the cartoon, but they've also got some really wacky action features and stuff like that. But uh, I never had this vehicle before, and it does come with an exclusive version of Toon Raff. Um... I don't know entirely how, how he differs from the single carded release. He doesn't look like he's got the same shiny consistency to the plastic like those always did, so maybe that's it. Uh, but either way, this is still sealed in the box. It's just a really cool piece to add to the collection because I didn't already have it. Uh, I love looking at the back of the box, too, and seeing some of the rarities there. Obvi a lot of the Toon figures have gotten pretty scarce these days, especially like Shredder. Um, but also the channel six news vans on the back of that, uh, which I have, I've gotten that I've shown that in another video, but that's, that's a bit hard to come by, but it's fun looking at it and seeing it on the back of the box. But yeah, another really great piece to add to my collection. I'm so glad that I got this for my turtles lineup. Ah, so speaking of the Ninja turtles, man, I have just been on a Ninja turtles binge. I don't know. It's just, it's just what I'm after right now. Um, I'm having a lot of fun collecting a lot of the stuff, especially the later stuff, because Turtles went for such a long span of time. Um, I mean, I'm talking about the original series. You know, it started in 88, and I was still a kid at that point, you know, but by the time it ended in like 97, 98, 99, I mean, I was on my way out of high school. I was already done buying toys for, for the time being until, you know, you know. But I missed a lot of the stuff at the tail end of that line, and there was some really wacky stuff. So kind of along the same lines as the uh, Metal Mutants here, the very anime stuff, I've been picking up um, the Metal Mutants, or I'm sorry, the Super Mutants. So these were actually released in the U.S., but they uh, are definitely based on the looks of the turtles from that anime that I was talking about, the OVA. Um, and... I, you know, I think I might have had one loose one of these before, like in really beat up shape. So all of a sudden I just decided I was really interested in these. So a lot of these I've picked up um, through fellow Turtles collectors, through Facebook groups. Uh, and I think I might have even grabbed one of these from eBay. But if you see your figure here, shout out for hooking me up and helping me get some of these for my collection. So just in the past few weeks here, or maybe a few months probably, I've lost total track of time. What is time anymore? Uh, in the last few months, I've picked up uh, carded versions of Donatello, Splinter, Rocksteady, and Bebop. And these are so wild looking. They are just so vastly different than so many other things uh, in the, the original lineup. It's just so cool um, because they're all, I mean, they're legitimately just animated out. They're tall and buff, and uh, I mean, if you've never seen the anime, it's like a Super Sentai type show. It's literally like Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles. Um, so that's kind of what we got going on here. But these are fun. Um, I want to get the rest of the turtles for sure, um, and 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 uh, fully complete Shredder also if I can get one. Um, but yeah, these are awesome, and I'm really glad that I was able to add these to my turtles lineup as well. So something fun that I picked up recently on the indie toy front uh, that I definitely wanted to show you guys are these really fun um, double-sized recreations of the original real Ghostbusters little buddy ghosts. 
the little pack-in ghosts. Uh, so we've got the gulper ghost and the grabber ghost here. Um, and you can see them in my hands. If you're familiar with the real Ghostbusters at all, I mean, there's reissues hitting Walmarts right now, which is bonkers. But the original Kenner line, um, if you're familiar with those, you know that the ghosts are quite a bit smaller than this. So this is like them at double the size. Um, these come from an indie toy maker uh, named Toysaurus. I will link to his Instagram down in the video description if you want to check him out. Um, or a store, store Envy store. I can do that as well for you guys. Um, but these caught my attention, and I just thought they were so fun. And um, I don't know, I love wacky stuff like this. The quality on these is so good. I mean, they're, they're super solid feeling. I always loved the little pack in ghosts. They were some of my favorite parts of the original real Ghostbusters toy line. So I just thought these were like a fun little novelty piece to add to my collection. They're very cool. Um, you can see like, I know it's not obviously the same ghost, but I just wanted to show you like a real Ghostbusters ghost from the old Kenner line compared to these. So you can see small, how smaller it is. Um, but he's going through and he's going to be doing all of those original ghosts from the original pack ins, the, the four figures, at least I think he's even got a couple others outside of that. Um, but I grabbed these two. I'm probably going to be going back and getting the rest because I just think these are so much fun. Oh man, guys, this is something I'm really excited about. Um, so this may not look like much to a lot of you, or I can already see the comments right now where you guys are all saying, Oh, what does your battle cat look like a regular tiger? Or, oh, that looks like a battle cat knockoff. Wrong. You're all wrong. This right here is battle cat's daddy. Okay. <laughs> this is the tiger from the big Jim toy line, which was a popular toy line by Mattel in the 1970s. And I've done a whole video sort of about the reuse of parts from the big Jim toy line to masters of the universe in my toy explosion series. If you guys haven't already seen that, I would highly recommend checking it out so you guys can get kind of a full picture of what was going on. But essentially when Mattel launched masters of the universe, they had all these amazing pre-existing molds. So they reused a lot of those parts and this tiger originated with Big Jim, eventually became Battle Cat and Panthor. Uh, the same can be said for Zoar, which was reused from an eagle from Big Jim. So I've been wanting to get the actual original 1970s Big Jim tiger for my collection for a long time. Uh, I've already got the Panther, which was the second, the, like the, the jungle cat. He's like a black jungle cat. That was from Mattel's Tarzan line. So that was a reuse before even Battle Cat. So now I've got the tiger. The Jungle Cat plus Battle Cat and Panthor. It's just a, it feels like a piece of toy history for me. Um, and of course, Masters of the Universe is one of my all-time favorite toy lines. I love collecting for it and I love finding the kind of rare and obscure stuff. And I don't know, I'm just so happy to have this Big Jim Tiger finally in my collection because like I said, it just feels like a piece of toy history for one of my all-time favorite toy lines. So I got a lot of really good stuff. Uh, in the past couple months here. Um, but what I'm about to show you is probably one of my absolute favorite things. It's definitely a bit more on the, uh, the grail side, but it's an obscurish kind of grail and it may not even make sense to a lot of you watching, but it, it's really special for me. If you're familiar with my channel and my videos dating all the way back to when I first started back in 07 or 08 or whenever that was, again, I've lost all sense of time. I don't know what day it is right now. But I've always talked about one of my favorite obscure toy lines from the 1980s being Mattel's Food Fighters toy line. And I've been collecting for that line for a long time. I love it. I've got, uh, you know, all the figures loose. I've got the variants loose. I've got many of the figures carded. It's just been a fun thing that I've been collecting just throughout the years. Whenever I find a piece... Um, that I can add to my collection, I like to try to add to my collection. Um, so recently... I acquired this guy. This is a carded version of private pizza. He's one of the, he's just one of the basic original wave figures, but can you guys spot what's special about this carded version of private pizza? It might help if I turn the packaging sideways. Do you not know yet? Do you see it? Well, let me compare it to the more standard issue of private pizza and let me turn his packaging sideways. Oh, do you see the difference now? It's a weird one. This private pizza is a rare double bubble version. So the standard Food Fighters figures, when they came packaged, they kind of had these blister bubbles that were 
more kind of vacuum formed in the shape of the figures themselves. But for some reason, and I have no idea why, maybe if somebody actually knows the reason why, I'd love to hear it. But for some reason, there exists these weird variants where they're blister bubbled twice. So I don't really know the reason why this was released the way it is. But yeah, it's it's essentially got the same bubble that is shaped around Private Pizza. But then it's got this second bubble that's like a much larger roundish bubble over the top of it. Uh, it's really bizarre, and these are a bit rare. These don't show up very often. Um, I don't even know if there's a version like this for every single figure. I don't know if this is a weird factory thing, an international thing. Again, uh, as much as I love this line, I'm perfectly honest when I say I don't know every single little weird detail or variant, um, but I always get excited when I discover stuff like this. And uh, this is just something that I was really excited to be able to snag and add to my collection, um, just as a, an oddity alongside all of these other amazing weirdo figures from one of my all-time favorite Obscure Toy Lines, Mattel's Food Fighters. Man, is somebody going to bring these back or what? I really want new Food Fighters toys. All right, my friends. Hey, so I think that's going to wrap up this little non-toy hunting episode. And I know it didn't seem like I have like gobs and gobs of stuff, but what I have, uh, I think is pretty special. I've picked up some really cool, uh, very interesting pieces for my collection recently. Uh, but let me tell you, that's not all. I wasn't joking when I said that I have a really bad habit of getting bored and therefore shopping on the internet. And I know I'm not alone. You're in a safe place here. We can have a support group right there in the comments if you guys want. <laughs> Um, so hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, this sort of look at my stuff, uh, toy haul video rather than a usual toy hunting video while I'm not really doing those, let me know and I can definitely do more of these. I would love to kind of just, uh, keep showing you guys some of the new things that I'm bringing into my personal collection just because it's fun for me to talk about it with you guys because this, this is fun and it's exciting for me and sometimes it's fun to share that excitement with other people but if you guys don't like this or you think it's obnoxious I mean I don't tell me that that'll hurt my feelings guys thank you so much for watching I love you all I hope you're staying very safe uh, please feel free leave me a comment down below of course hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and stay tuned more toy hunting videos are coming soon